the world. How can they do that? By putting action behind your faith in Jesus. So over the next few months, we're going to be taking a closer look at the book of Acts in the Bible and seeing how that Jesus' apostles found joy when they put their hands to good action. Come on, let's go check it out. Here we are at Action Point. Now right here is where we're going to be looking at the book of Acts and finding out how did the apostles put their hands into action and what they did that gave them such great joy. Here we are at Action City. Now this is where we're going to take what we learned at Action Point from the actions of the apostles and see what we can do to reach out into our city and to find that same joy by putting our hands into action. back to another exciting day here with us and I can't wait to tell you what today's action word is. Any guesses out there? Drum roll please. It's welcome everybody. I'm so excited to tell you that today's action word of the day is proclaim. Oh silly. You know what my name is? It's Joyous Julie. And can we get it a little quieter in here? Because, whoo, I mean, that is loud. And I'm trying to tell the kids today what our action word is. I already told them what the action word of the day is. It's proclaim. Okay, I know that you're glad I came to Sunday school and I'm glad they came too, but um, if you don't mind, um, I need to tell the kids what our action word of the day is. And it For is the last time, I already told them what the action word of the day is. It's proclaim. I know you're giving me a migraine and you know what, I, I, I gotta go. So um, you just go ahead and tell the kids what the action word of the day is, okay? I have got a migraine now. Ugh. I already told, what's the action word of the day? Proclaim, that's right. Now, do you want to make your very own megaphone? Jumpin' Jack's gonna teach us how to do it. Let's go check it out. Hey guys. We're gonna make our very own megaphone, like this, so that you can proclaim God's word. All right, here's the stuff you're gonna need. A piece of construction paper, some tape, a crayon, and some scissors. But before you get the scissors, make sure an adult helps you. Now, if you can, pause and go get those supplies. Are you right? Are you ready? Okay, so first, you're gonna to need to draw a shape like this on the construction paper. And then, with an adult's help, cut it out. And then fold it into a shape like a cone, just like this one. And then write on it, proclaim God's word. Did you do it? Great job. Now, you need to hang on to this so that you can proclaim God's word during the lesson.
Are you ready to say your memory verse? Say it loud! But ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all of Judea and Samaria, and to the uttermost part of the earth. Kids, think of waking up on your birthday and walking out and seeing that one gift that you have been wanting since like forever. The most wonderful gift, like maybe a pony or a puppy or even a new bike. If you got that most wonderful gift, what would be the first thing you would want to do with it? Yeah, play with it. Then what would you do? Oh wait, no, I know. You want to tuck it away and keep your new gift a secret, right? No way! You would want to go out and tell everyone that you know about it. But why? Well, because it's one of the best things that has ever happened to you. Today, we are going to talk about how the followers of Jesus could not keep what he had done for them a secret. Would you like to help me? Great, thank you. Jumping Jack taught us how to make a megaphone earlier. So go and grab yours if you made one. But if you did it, then you can use your hands like this to make a megaphone to help proclaim the truth like the people in our lesson did. Proclaim means to make an announcement. Are you ready? Okay. In the book of Acts chapter 13, we read about two followers of Christ named Paul and Barnabas. They were on a journey to proclaim to the world that, repeat into your mic megaphones after me, Jesus saved. Good job, guys. Acts 13 says that as Paul and Barnabas were leaving the synagogue, that's the church building, that the Gentiles begged for them to preach again the next week. They agreed. And the next week when they came out, the Bible says that almost the entire city came to listen to the word of God being preached. How amazing. Paul and Barnabas proclaimed, Jesus loves you. Can you do it? And Jesus forgives sins. And Paul and Barnabas taught them how to be saved. The people were so happy to hear this that they began to spread the word of God to anyone who would listen. They believed it and took it close to their hearts. They proclaimed, we will tell the world about Jesus. <sighs> That's wonderful. And you know what? We need to tell the world about Jesus too. We need to tell them how they can be saved and share the word with them. The Bible says that the disciples were filled with joy. Putting action with God's words brings us joy. Just like the apostles declared the word of Jesus to the city and all those people were saved, we can declare Jesus to our cities and our cities can be saved too. Wouldn't that be awesome if everyone in your city was saved? Imagine what it would be like if everyone said no to sin and was baptized in Jesus' name and filled with the Holy Spirit. <sighs> That's awesome. But if we never open our mouths and tell them, how will they know? If the apostles had kept their mouth shut, how would those people have known how to be saved? Let's put our megaphones down and close our eyes. Picture that person in your mind that you know needs to know who Jesus is and needs to know that he loves them. Imagine the joy that will be on their faces when they are finally set free and they know that there's a God who's powerful and wonderful and loves them. Let's pray right now. Jesus, just like you did for Paul and Barnabas, we are asking that you would give us the determination and the courage to take action and proclaim you to our cities so that they can finally believe and receive that you have always loved them and that you died on the cross for them. Jesus, we want to tell them that you have a wonderful plan for their lives. Thank you so much, Jesus. We love you. Amen.
in Action City today. Can you guess what we're going to do? We're going to proclaim, proclaim. You got it. You made that megaphone in our craft time. So get your megaphones out and get ready to proclaim with me the great things that the Lord is going to do. So get you a hand, get your megaphone, write proclaim on it. And this week you go out and you tell others the awesome things that the Lord is doing. And don't forget, proclaim his greatness. All right, high five. All right, kids, don't forget to proclaim Jesus to someone this week. That means to tell someone about Jesus. Oh, yeah. Um, to proclaim means to tell somebody about how awesome Jesus is. I just said that. Uh, oh, well. <laughs>